Think of a one-dimensional set of security that we've had since the 70s. Got to change. Now, how big is this problem? Well, all of the internet that you use, all that we use, all that everybody uses globally, uses this same encryption. This is a trillion dollar upgrade. This will be the largest upgrade cycle you will ever see, or at least that we've ever seen. Welcome everybody. Thank you for attending the session today about the quantum threat. My name is Skip Sanzeri. I'm the co-founder and COO and board chairman of a company called QSecure out in Silicon Valley, California. Today we're going to talk about some real problems that are coming down and they're coming at us fast. Um, you've probably heard about quantum computing. Uh, you probably know a little bit about it. Um, you may have heard that it's a ways away before it's powerful, etc. But I think I'll, uh, I'll dispel some of that and maybe make you a little more nervous today than you might want it to have been. Um, hacks are occurring all the time. I was just sitting in on, on Tamir Pardo's session and the MGM properties in the US, that's a casino set of properties, just got hacked in the last 24 hours. Um, 13 major properties, casinos, were shut down. Um, they shut off the slot machines, they shut off the ATMs, and nobody could get in their rooms um, electronically, 13 properties. So uh, as we know, this is occurring all the time. And quantum is gonna make it worse. Let's talk about some of the, the ways these attacks occur. So right now, our digital footprints are large, right? If somebody wanted to study us, they could see that we're all in the room together, largely because we all have our mobile phones. As humans, we trade privacy for convenience every single day, and we do it more and more. We can't help it. Try not using Amazon. Try not using Waze. Try not going to a website. Try not using your mobile phone. It's not going to happen. With our digital footprints, they're like our digital shadows. These shadows get bigger all the time. Uh, and everything we do now, including chat, GPT, and AI, just another set of recording devices to store data on you out there, your preferences, your behaviors, all of your thoughts, your choices, almost everything about you now can be uh, detected, can be stolen, can be hacked, and can be used against you. So we're in a world that we probably never predicted. When the internet started, it wasn't based on security. The internet was communication, right? We were communicating with each other. Um, Security came in as an afterthought to the internet, largely because of e-commerce, right? Said, well, we gotta buy and sell things, so we better protect those things. Um, and so the afterthought, the first internet security was built around the late 70s, 1970s. And guess what? We still use the same schema. We still use the same type of encryption we did in the 70s. The difference is, that we've increased the key sizes or the key lengths to make it harder to hack, but it's the same since the 70s. Well, today, we have quantum computers and we have AI. So we can't use this one-dimensional security anymore. We have to think about upgrading. So what is a quantum computer? Quantum computer is a very powerful machine. This machine works in wonderful ways and is gaining strength every day. It's really good at what we call multivariate problems. So you think of things like AI, logistics, um, genomics, uh, chemistry and material science, aeronautical design, um, things that where you have a lot of variables that you want to process, you want to process all those at once. The basic problem with any technology, just like ChatGPT, just like quantum, just like all of it, is that the bad guys use it at just about the same time the good people do. So while quantum can be amazing for applications, again, solving things that we could never solve with our standard compute, guess what? Hackers are already doing it. Right now, China's spending about $15 billion on a quantum computer to crack encryption. Why are they doing this? Because they're storing an enormous amount of data. People say, well, Quantum is a few years away. We don't have to worry about it, right? Wrong. You need to worry now. Why is that? Because data that you have could be valuable for decades. Think of things like um, health information. That's valuable for your whole life. Um, military, nuclear, government secrets. 
50 years. Banking information, 25 years. Per any other personal information? Again, as long as you're alive, that personal information is valuable. Yet, if a quantum computer is online in five years that can hack that, then Xi Jinping can go in and look at all of that data that he's harvested. Um, and we estimate right now that they may have up to 30% of the world's data already stored. So if data gets stolen today, um, and it needs to last for 50 years to be safe and private, and a quantum computer comes online in five years, it's 45 years of use of that data. This is coming, there is no doubt. Peter Shore wrote an algorithm called Shore's algorithm that says that quantum computers will break encryption. Again, remember all those variables? Well, a key length, like RSA 2048, is just a bunch of variables. I'm, again, I'm, I'm trying to give you the side that we see, because we do this for a living. A lot of people, again, will say, well, it's way out there. It's a, that's a big machine. You need 4,100 qubits. Those are quantum bits. Those are little processors. You need 4,100 of those to crack RSA 2048. Got it. That's a big machine. Guess what? What if I could take 10 400 qubit machines and I could entangle those? In other words, connect them subatomically, in other words, with entanglement, I can run a 4,000 qubit process with 10 of those. Guess who's really good at that? China. Why is that? Because they've been working on entanglement for a lot of years. They've had a satellite that does quantum key distribution, which is entanglement, since 2017. Right? They have the longest run of, of entanglement, over 100 kilometers. They've mastered how to combine these systems. So my point is that this is going to go a lot faster than we think. Now you're adding AI in as an attack vector. AI is already being used for attack. Worm GPT, the hacker's version of chat GPT, came out three months after chat GPT came out. It took no time for the bad guys to have chat GPT. Think of a one-dimensional set of security that we've had since the 70s. Got to change. Now, how big is this problem? Well, it's the entire internet because the security is standardized on the entire internet. All of the internet that you use, all that we use, all that everybody uses globally uses this same encryption. This is a trillion dollar upgrade. This will be the largest upgrade cycle you will ever see, or at least that we've ever seen. It's trillions of dollars because all of the encryption globally has to change in order for us to get this right. 